Hello friends, my name is Real Meal, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 2, and today is DLC day, it's the Rockstar Car Pack, and let's go have a look, see what the Rockstar Car Pack has offered up to us. So as usual, we've got six new cars, we have the Acura Integra Type R, which is the free car of the pack, um, fairly uninteresting small car, uh, if you like the Integra then it's in I guess. The 850 CSI, which is a really cool car, but unfortunately we've done sports cars twice now, so I couldn't really warrant doing it again. But yeah, really cool car. Uh, we've got what we're using today, which is the Jaguar XFRS, which is a fantastic looking car. Whether it'll be a good car or not, we'll have to see. Uh, we've got the 2015 Subaru Impreza WRX STI, which is a pretty awesome car. Again, we've covered Modern Rally before, but pretty cool car. Uh, we got the Beetle GRC, which is the guy who hosts American Top Gear's car. M meh, not really that interesting. It's a powerful Beetle. I mean, it could be quite fun on Storm Island, but no, I'm not particularly interested. And we've also got this Desert Dingo Racing thing. I'd, it's only got 93 horsepower. Hmm. I, I, okay. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, we are... In, ooh, hold up. I've got some money. Hey, there we are. But yeah, uh, not a particularly interesting car pack really. Two Beatles, uh, there's three cool cars, and one meh car, and two I'm really not interested in at all, which is the Beetle and the other Beetle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not particularly happy with this pack. It's a terrible sports drink making, or terrible energy drink, sorry, making a pretty woeful car pack, but hey ho. Interestingly as well, this is the last car pass car pack, if that makes any sense. From now on, we are going to have to pay $5 for them, I think. $5, or, yeah, I think that works out into about £3.39 in English money. So, yeah, uh, 50s had a bit of a collision with some scooters there. He's having fun. But yeah, I mean, this Jag seems quite nice to drive, actually. Uh, we'll take it. I've actually taken it for this full sort of road trippy bit just to get used to the car, see what it's like. And I haven't driven on Horizon 2 in a couple of days, so I figured you'd want to see uh, my terribleness driving with a new car in a new setting. Yeah, it could end pretty well. But yeah, I mean, overall, we are going to have to start paying for car packs after this. Uh, so, they really need to step the game up for the next car packs, I guess. Uh, I'm definitely going to do an updated 15 cars I'd like to see in Horizon 2. I'm going to probably shorten it down to 10 cars, maybe. Uh, cross off some off the list we've already had. And overall, you know, I've actually went back to look at the 15 cars I'd like to see in Horizon 2 video. And honestly, I'm not particularly happy about it. I'm sorry if you can hear background noise, by the way. Um, but yeah, there's... Um, I, I'm, yeah, I want to go back and redo that video because I don't think I did it very well. There's a lot of cars in there that are just implausible and pointless to have. I mean, like the D7, you know, we've got the Vanquish, which I guess pretty much fills the same hole. But, yeah, I mean, we do need to go back and redo that, I think. Over the roundabout. The there we go. <laughs> as you do, as you do, as you do. Oh, uh, God, right. But, yeah, I mean, this Jag seems quite f nice to drive. How fast can we go? Uh, up into six. Do we have a seventh gear? Yeah, we do. Okay. It is straight line speed. It's got plenty of it. <laughs> it is quite slow accelerating, this Jag, actually. It's a bit of a fat, fat boy Jag, about this of it. Uh, okay, yeah, we are starting to pick up speed now. Yeah, that's that, that's quite fast. <laughs> I don't uh, take that much corner speed in a Dodge Jag. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Uh, we've also got the uh, da, 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 Fast and Furious expansion pack has been announced this week. The standalone, which apparently, yeah, I don't like the idea of it being a standalone. I'd rather it just be in the actual game, but we'll see. We'll see whether the cars carry on and so on and so forth. You know, so some of the cars we use in that expansion, could we actually get them in game, for example? I'd quite like to see that. Let's take a picture of them. Get some money. Oh, they've updated that as well, finally. 
Yeah, if you've seen my last couple of videos, you'll know it's been stuck on like 260,000 out of 260,000 for ages. Yeah, I know, I read that earlier. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I drifted a little bit too much. But yeah, I mean, that's been exciting. I'm pretty hyped for that, actually. That could be quite good if they do it correctly. There has been Fast and Furious games in the past. There was Tokyo Drift, the game, which I, I quite liked. The money was hard to come by in it. I ended up going broke, but I mean, I didn't find it too bad. And there was a few, I think there's been a few terrible mobile games as well as some terrible garbage on the Xbox Live Arcade, probably. <laughs> They're probably the same thing, knowing the way distribution works nowadays. Gallardo there. You don't see them in-game. I don't get why they've put the Gallardo there, but you can't buy it, or at least... I don't know, maybe they've finally updated it so you can, I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't really get why that's there. I presume it was because the Horakan didn't exist until very, very late in the... Actually, no, it was the cover car. I don't know. I don't know, I'm rambling on at this point. I've probably like used all the interesting conversation topics I've had on the way to Montalino. But yeah, the Fast and Furious expansion looks interesting. There's quite a few cars in there that we've already seen before. They're doing like a GTR Fast and Furious edition. I don't really get what the difference between that and the normal GTR will be, but we'll have to see. We'll also have to see what sort of map it's in, whether it's going to be in the Big Horizon 2 map we've got, or whether it's going to be a cut-down version of it or something. Is there any... Oh, right, there's a number race up there. Right, we'll definitely not do cross-country in this car, because I don't think that's going to end very well. Uh, but we are going to have to do... We'll do that. Looks interesting enough. One minute. Yeah, I thought I had a steez coming. Apparently not. <laughs> anyway, got some XP for road trip into Montalino. I love the look of this car. It looks fantastic. I like the XK. Or is, This is the XF, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I get confused with the new Jaguar naming system. But yeah, the XF standard is a very nice car. I love the XFR, but this thing looks absolutely monstrous. I presume it's supposed to be pretty much the same as the XFR or X... Yeah. <laughs> it's confusing. We had the XKR on the show a couple of months ago now. Uh, and I like that car very, very much. So this seems to be the XF version. I prefer the XF over the XK, so, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I guess it's a much better car. I am worried about the handling. On the way up here, it doesn't seem too bad, it doesn't seem too slidey, but we'll have to see what it's like once we get it on the road, in a racetrack even, we're actually starting to push it. We'll have to see what sort of speed we can get up to. How long have we been recording for? It's seven minutes, okay, we're alright. Okay, get through two events and then I can end it off. I might get a different car out from the next event, we'll see. Ooh, what we got on the field? A few Audis, lots of Audis. Audi R6 there, I never used that car. Maybe I should at some point. M3s and that the new Lexus, the horrible, ugly, Darcy death thing, whatever it is. The one that was on Top Gear last week and it was terrible. <laughs> Which, ironically, is quite amusing. They they were on about how terrible it was, or Clarkson was on about how much he hated it, and then Fail Race released a video the next day saying how much he liked to drive that car. So I don't know, maybe it's good in the game, I'm not sure. But it sounds pretty terrible in real life. It looks hideous as well, I hate it. I think it's a very much love it or hate it car. Yeah, it's very much all angles, and I don't like it. I don't really like any of the new Lexuses, to be honest. I like the ones... I like the ones from the early parts of this decade. Yeah, there we go. I can get my words up. You know, the ISF and the LFA and all of that, but I don't particularly like... I should really turn notifications off. <laughs> I just realised they're popping up. Also, I think my controller's probably going to run out of batteries at some point. I believe they've turned the vibration off on it because I can't feel anything from it. So... Yeah, uh, gotta get up in front. I've gotta say, um, this Jag, when it's actually being pushed, I don't know whether it's just because I'm botching gear changes or something, I won't really know until I look back on the video. It seems, it doesn't seem very good racing. It, the handling, it does want to slide all the time, which, don't get me wrong, I love a Jag that slides. Uh, the F-Type, for example, is actually quite a slidey car. It's not a particularly good race car, the F-Type. However, it's a barrel of fun. 
honestly, if I'd say my favourite car in Horizon 2 to drive and how much I've driven it and everything, the F-Type probably comes out on top. I've driven that car many, many times. I think it's... Ooh, I think it might hold the record for being in the most number of videos, I'm not sure. I think my final video on Horizon 2 will definitely be in the F-Type. Uh, well, not final, but I mean the final one before Forza 6 comes out. I think I'll definitely have to jump back in the F-Type for one final go around. Because that's been a very fun car to drive. Okay, uh, I don't even think we're going to get top 3 in this race. I've got to be honest, I do not think it's going to happen. Seems we haven't really got that much uh, well trees <laughs> yeah it would appear we don't have that much speed in the jag it like i said on the way up here it's slow accelerating or at least it feels it compared to other stuff i've been driving recently what was the last thing i drove on here i don't remember but yeah it definitely doesn't feel particularly quick on the acceleration the handling is just a little too slidey the F-Type, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, but the F-Type has acceleration on its side, whereas this doesn't really have the acceleration. I still absolutely love it. I think it's a fantastic looking car. Uh, probably my favourite new Super Saloon, as it were. But, eh, I, I don't really think it's particularly good at racing. Can we at least get top three? I don't even think we're going to get top three, to be honest. Uh, we're gonna go in that, obviously. Uh, no, I don't think we are gonna get top three, you know. It's a shameful display. There's another F type. Or oh, XF. I don't even. I'm gonna give up. <laughs> Jaguar, stop naming your cars after initials. X type was okay. XFR type or whatever. XFR S or whatever this car is called now is a bit confusing. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're gonna finish fourth, I'm afraid. Which isn't particularly good. Hmm. Yeah, not a particularly good display, though, unfortunately. But hey, you know, you win some, you lose some, I guess. We should be alright. I don't think I'm gonna have to restart that race. I think we'll be alright in championship standings and everything, but. Yeah, unfortunately, not a particularly good display for the jig. Right, I think, for today, friends, that's going to end us right there, because I did the road trip up here, which has actually taken a while, and I think that race took quite a long time as well. So, join me for part two, and until next time... Oh, actually, uh, the DLC rating on this, I don't think it's a particularly good one. Uh, if you haven't got the season pass, I don't think it's worth buying. Yes, this is a fantastic looking car. Yes, the 2015 Subaru is probably fantastic. And I'm sure those silly Beetles have their own merits. But for me, I don't particularly like it. I think it's a bit of a dumb car pack. And not particularly good finale to the paid car packs for Horizon 2. But anyway, friends, uh, my name's been The Real Meal. And until next time, farewell. <laughs>